How are you feeling? You got John Riggs here. Blue Riggs. I'm a huge fan of the TurboGrafx-16 CD or the Turbo Duo. Um, I personally have a PC Engine Duo because the disc games um, don't have any um, country code on them. So you can play Japanese games on your US system and vice versa. I can play my US games on my Japanese system, but gotta have the Japanese system because there are so many great Japanese games out there that we never got. Um, so with this, with the Japanese system and even the American games that are super, super awesome, um, I'm so happy as I'm waiting for Project Phobos, which is the way to play your games onto your TurboGrafx-16 Mini. Before that happens, I already have the At Games Legends Arcade. I already love it. It's wonderful. It's awesome. You can load your own games onto it. Um, I showed you how to do that with Sega CD games recently, and now, fortunately, we are able to put TurboGrafx-16 CD games on there, Turbo Duo games, PC Engine games, maybe even this guy. Now, this is a homebrew. This came out recently. Super, super fun game, and I'm going to put this on my arcade. I already ripped the image, so now I just need to put it to make it work, but you can do this for any games, even games that you might find, like the bin and Q files on the internet. We're gonna show you how to do that in this video. All right, so this folder here, this is my um, re my removable USB drive that's already kind of preloaded with a bunch of stuff that I've been working on recently. And our, one of our last videos, you saw how we did Sega CD games. So now I'm loaded up with a bunch of Sega CD games. Um, to do Turbo Graphics 16 CD games or PC Engine CD games, this includes Turbo Duo and all that, um, it's going to be a very, very similar process. In fact, it's going to be exactly the same with the exception of like the BIOS and of course what games to use and everything like that too. Um, so we'll go over that. So the first thing we need to do is we need to put the content onto your USB drive. Now, if you've already done this with your At Games Legends Ultimate, you'll know that you just, you know, take the ROM, use the program to put the ROM, convert it, put it on here. Well, you can't really do it with that because these games are huge. They're CD games, right? Um, so we have a content folder, and these are the things that you're going to need to do. Now, if you haven't done the Sega CD stuff yet, and this is the first time you're watching this video, maybe even the first time you're watching this channel, um, might recommend that, but I'll, uh, I'll go over this here too. So you have to have a separate folder. You can create this yourself. It's called content, lowercase c. In there, you'll have two folders, BIOS and consoles. Both of them I put as lowercase, and I think that's important. Um, it works for me. I would say go ahead and go for it. So BIOS and then consoles. Now, in the BIOS folder you're going to have your, like these are the Sega CD, right, uh, BIOS. And the BIOS is just the thing that says, yes, this CD system needs this file to run properly kind of thing. So never mind about all that. For this, you'll need this one, the SysCard 3. This is your System Card 3. For TurboGrafx-16 uh, CD games to work and PC Engine CD games, um, where the uh, Who card goes, or the Hue card, I guess, or the Turbo Chip, they call it sometimes, um, where that goes, um, there's a system card that lets it know what kind of game it's going to be. Um, later on release games need higher cards. Um, Dracula X, for instance, um, needs the system card 2. Well, system card 3 is like the best you can go. So grab the system card 3 BIOS. I can't link it. Um, however, if you just search for literally this, no doubt you'll find a um, you'll find like an archive site that will have it available for download. So when you have it, put it in that folder. And the other stuff in the folder, that's fine too. All you need is that in that folder. And then for consoles, click on that. Here's our Sega CD folder. Well, now you need to create another one. NEC dash PC space engine space CD. And it needs to spell like that. I need to clean my screen, I see. I'm a slob, don't worry about me. We have a NEC capitalized space dash space PC capitalized. The letter E in engine is capitalized and then CD, right? Once you have that folder, here is the folder that you're going to drop your files into. Um, you saw that FX unit Yuki um, earlier in the video. Here are the files from that CD. It's a bin and Q file. It's okay to have just a bunch of files. It's okay. So long as it's bin and Q and the Q file is going to be super important. I removed all the junk from the Q file. Um, I couldn't get games to work before when I had dashes and parentheses, but when I removed it, it worked. So I'm going to keep on doing that. So FX unit Yuki. There you go. What I don't have, and I'm going to do this right now, is I'm going to bring this game over here. This is an import game called Moteke T T uh, Tamago. Tamago means egg. Uh, Moteke? I'm not exactly sure. Moteke? I'm not exactly sure. I'm going to bring this over. Unfortunately, as you know, with CD games, they can be anywhere between, I think, you know, I think Adam's family is at the very, very, very lowest end of CD games as far as file size go. Um, but games on average run 300, 400, 500, 600 megs. Um, so we're going to do this and we'll be right back. And just like that, there we go.
and already has the junk removed because I went ahead and did that in advance. It did say parentheses Japan. I just removed the Japan part. I think the fact that it's called it Tomeki Tamago <laughs> is is emphasis enough that it's from Japan. I'm okay with that. It's going to be a fun puzzle game if you've never heard of it. It was a game I used to have back in the 90s. I'm glad to be playing it again. Um, okay, so now we have everything we need. Now we just need to put this uh, together. And here we have the add-on tool linked in the description below. And there's this uh, instructions, directions, links, and everything. You gotta find those in the in the description. Add-on tool version 2.24, absolutely needed. Here's where you put this together. Now you have your core, and I'm gonna the core is linked in the description below as well. I'm gonna find my core here. Now you got a bunch of cores. The one you need is this one here called PCE Fast. This is the uh, MetaFan PCE Fast. You might find this on other sites, but make sure you grab the one in the link below because this one is optimized for the At Games Legends Ultimate, right? Because you might be using this already for, you know, what, what, you know Raspberry Pi or Mr. I don't know, something else. But this is the one you need to grab. That one's optimized. So click on that. That is your core. Once that's there, you can do multiple games. You don't need to keep re-adding the core. The core is already in place. Going to have to add the game ROM here. Now, I put it on through the um, my USB drive already. So I just need to go to Content, Consoles, PC Engine CD, Tamago, and you're not going to see it up front. So you need to change this down here. And when you drop down the drop down, as you can see there, just go to All Files. The Q file is what you need. Add it. And there you go. Going to change this game. Oh, it's already it's already labeled for you. But if you do multiple, you're going to have to change this name. Uh, what it's called already is good to me. I'm going to add box art to this. So choose file, and I usually don't add box art, but as you can see, I got some box arts available here too. The cool thing with this uh, box art file, I'm gonna, and I'll, uh, like I said, link it in the description below as always. So here you have like, it's nice to have on hand. Here you have all the box arts. Gonna make it real easy for you. It's kind of cool to see what they have. But then the nice thing is, along with box, box art, you can also choose to have uh, snapshots. Uh, what I like about the snapshots of each game is it shows you a little bit about, I mean, if you can judge a book by its cover, which I think a lot of us can. If you don't know a lot of games out there for the TurboGrafx-16 CD, it wasn't a very popular system in the United States of America. And the PC Engine, of course, the CD games, there's so many great Japanese games that came out there, but you don't know which one's which. But you're like, well, that one looks kind of cool. Avenger came out in Japan. You know, that, that's, it looks, it looks like a vertical shooter. I might check that out, you know. So you just kind of go through. <laughs> nice. You know, but this game looks like a little fun action platform. I'm going to have to check that game out, too. So it's kind of fun to just look through and so here. <laughs> I'm not sure what that game is, but it's kind of cool. Here it is, Moteki Tamago. As that screenshot is going to be um, is going to be uh, what I see when I load it up. And it might be truncated. It might be cropped a little bit. It'll resize itself once it's loaded into the, into the machine here. And I'll show you that here in just a second. So we're going to add it. We're going to uh, create it. I'm going to put it in my file. And then this time, you can just call it whatever you want. I just said TG, TG16 CD. That's good enough for me. I'm okay with that. So there you go. I already have a bunch of files in there. Uh, you can already see the... Um, I already put FX unit Yuki right there. But we don't have that one yet. I'm going to save it. It should take about a second. Because instead of putting a ROM on here, which might take a while, um, it's just using the Q file. The Q file is just basically a Word document that just says what goes where as far as the bin files go for the game to work properly. That's it. And we're going to uh, start this game right now. So thumb drive in. That thing's flashing. When it's done flashing, it will uh, let me start playing something. But it's going to be in the BYOG category. So we just have to let it sit. Now, this thumb drive is actually pretty full. Um, it's, also at full it's almost at full capacity at like 30 gigs. So... This will take a little bit. It won't take as long if uh, you only have a few files on there. I've actually literally thought of getting um, USB drives that are just, you know, just Sega CD, you know, just Turbo CD, just uh, arcade games. Um, and I may end up doing that down the line. It won't take this long to load, you know, just have one just for arcade games, just for all console games. Um, but this, it shouldn't be too bad here. Of course, if you just keep your arcade on at all times, here, there we go. You don't have to worry about it. You can put on like a screensaver or something, but... So we have all the games down here, and then all the way down here for Turbo 16, TG 16 CD. There we go. Pretty nice looking uh, setup there. For your bonk, here's your Dracula X, what many people consider the best Castlevania game of all time. And here's that FX unit Yuki. With any luck, it'll load up to the uh, bio screen. There's the bios right there. Hit start, it's going to load. Looks good to me. Nicely done. (laughs) 
The system itself is set up for the A button is attack, and then the B button is jump. And you don't have the turbos on here, unfortunately, but that's alright. Wanna back out? No problem. Quick game. New Japan Pro Wrestling. Curious to see if this works. There you go. See, this game used a, a certain card that I didn't have access to. I, had, I actually had this game. I still do. But I can't play it because <laughs> I didn't have the right card. I've had this game for a few years. Never had a chance to play it. I got Riki Choshu. That's uh, Tatsumi Fujinami. Got Shinya Hashimoto. Masahiro Chono. Hiroshi Hase. Super cool. We got Jushin, Lai, Jushin Thunder Liger down here. Ah, got Rick and Scott and the Steiner Brothers. Well, along with Hercules Hernandez, Scott Norton. Dude, so cool. Oh, the guy that cannot be named on uh, WWE television anymore, either. Nice. Got one of my favorite animes of all time, Ron Mullen Half. A lot of games you can choose from. Uh, when in doubt, you can just look up videos. They have videos of, like, here's every Turbo CD game. Here's every PC Engine CD game. Or just look through those box arts to see if something looks cool to you. But I thank you for watching. Always more tutorials about the uh, Legends uh, Ultimate or even other tutorials coming up. So make sure you're subscribed. Um, if you have one of these machines and want to stay in the community, check out the Discord as well as the Facebook groups. Uh, we're pretty active in there, too, and helping everyone out who has questions. So check that out, and thank you for watching.